Hi, this is Asa, and welcome to my audio experience. I want to see you thrive. You know, more than anything, I want to see you make it. Not to be stuck with some diagnosis like depression or high blood pressure or diabetes and feel like there's no way out. That you only can take medications the rest of your life. That there's such a better way to live. Look, it's about choices. And if you've made the wrong choices up to this point, it's okay. You just got to make some new ones. That's the key. All right, let's talk about coffee and tea. Now, you're going to love me for this because I'm not knocking coffee and I'm not knocking tea. I like both. I drink both. But here's what they found in a longevity study. They found that people that regularly, regularly drink coffee and herbal tea will help prevent chronic liver disease. Scientists in the Netherlands did this study. Check this out. And the popular beverages, which all over the world, coffee and tea, they found that for decades when people drink these substances, that it ends up supporting the body. Matter of fact, if you're 45 and older, it can reduce liver disease by over 70%. Now, that's a big stat. Like drinking coffee and tea. Now, now this is not coffee and tea with all the junk in it. <laughs> this is not loaded with sugar and all of that nonsense. This is coffee and tea that you, you know, you're pretty much drinking like it is. If you want to put a little stevia or monk fruit extract in there, something like that, some almond milk, okay, no problem there. But you start getting into all the other nonsense that goes in there to make it taste like an ice cream, whatever. Uh, don't do that. So they're saying that this study, though, was interesting because they did it over a long period of time, over 10 years, and they found the chronic liver disease, which is many times hard to reverse, was not only reversed in some cases, but prevented in most people. Now, that doesn't mean you can go out and be an alcoholic and drink tea and coffee and everything's going to be all right. (laughs) Like, that is not what that means, okay? So get that in your head, too. That's really important. But it is really great for people like Howard Schultz that own Starbucks because it gives him and his whole company reason to keep making coffee because it's going to help me with liver conditions. I need to call him and he and I need to have a conversation, right? So the question is how much, how much can you have? I think personally that coffee, and this is not in this study, you know, this study, I think they did an eight ounce cup a day, but you can drink as much tea as you want a day because the caffeine load is really low. Coffee, maybe stick to about two cups a day. Now, if you do decaf, organic, low acid, you can do a little bit more of that, okay? But the, the heavy amounts of caffeine, you really don't want to go over about 300 milligrams of caffeine a day. I think 240 is the mark in all the studies. I know people that do a lot more than that. I used to do a lot more than that. But it really, that's, that's the mark that you're going to be okay. And, and really, some caffeine is really good for us. So we know that it stimulates the frontal lobe of the brain, and it can actually help work with people that have ADHD or attention hyperactivity. So your kids that have ADHD, instead of putting them on Ritalin, maybe look at caffeine. You know, it just bothers me so much in these kids, and that's a whole other story, that are on Ritalin and on these, on these brain medications for ADHD. First of all, I think we all have it, or all had it. I know when I was a kid, I could hardly pay attention to anything. I've got three doctorates. They say that the more intelligent you are, the more ADHD you are. So why are we trying to suppress that? that that's a whole other topic. But I'm just saying this. Caffeine is not bad in certain amounts, about 300 milligrams. So coffee and tea, very good thing. Okay, it's something I, I've been drinking coffee and tea both. More tea. I'm more of a tea guy. But I drink a lot of that on a daily basis. It's, it's something that I do every, every single day. Like it is part of my staple that I do. So I want to encourage you to do those kind of things to help you get down with your health and your life and go in the right direction. Now, let's go to, on the phones, let's go to Ben. Ben, what's your health, cha- health challenge? How can I help? I like to talk about uh, uh, prostate enlargement and okay. also water retention in the uh, ankles. And So when you're talking about water retention, one of the main things you've got to look at, and this is really important, number one, you got to rule out some things. And what I mean by that is you got to go to your doctor, okay? This, I know you want to kind of just talk to me and figure this out. I get it. I'm a guy, too, and that tends to be what we like to do. We don't want to go to a doctor. I don't want to go to a doctor, and I am a doctor. So I get that, but here's the deal. When it comes down to water retention, you've got to rule out everything with the kidneys. So when you see water retention, you think heart and kidneys. That's what we always think in medicine, okay, in healthcare. So 
you've got to look at that and you, you want to look in a space and make sure the blood tests are clear make sure all the testing is clear make sure that your doctor's not thinking you know down a rabbit trail that things could be going in, in a in south <laughs> so you got to have somebody that's really looking at that that understands it look there first because could it be nutritional in nature it probably was leading up to this point but if the body breaks down to a certain point you've got to have someone look at it and you've got to have someone that really knows what they're doing to dig in and get to a certain point like that is really really important so i would encourage you to to look at that now the main thing you got to do I, after you get the blood test done okay one of the main things you've got to do and i would focus in on this is look at your water intake and ask them the question because many people are dehydrated and they don't even know it so dehydration can be one of the biggest keys with fluid issues but you've got to rule out the kidney function. I mean, that one is uh, a big deal. So I would encourage you start there, find out, make sure there's nothing wrong, make sure there's nothing going on, and then we can create a game plan from that point, okay? Thanks so much for that call. If you haven't, got our number, get our number and give us a call. We'll make you part of the show and help you in any direction that you can. I mean, here's the reality. Our health is our greatest wealth. And on this show, we want to help you give the tools that can can help you along those lines. You can also text us, which is what I'm going to right now. Thomas sent us a text, and he wants to know what he can do to increase testosterone levels. (laughs) Thomas, that's like the question of the ages for all the guys, right? What can I do to get the T up? Because if the T goes up, other things go up, right? And muscle goes up, everything goes up. Want to turn back the clock 15 years and have more energy? This is Dr. Rasa telling you to just breathe with LiveO2. LiveO2 delivers the right amount of oxygen we need for optimal health. Go to LiveO2.com. That's LiveO2.com. To find out more, connect with On Call Radio online at InShapeNetwork.com. So how do you get the testosterone levels up? Well, this is what I'm going to tell you. You didn't, you didn't list your age, so I don't know your age. But I will say this. I think we're too quick to, give out med- to, to, to take the hormone. Let me just say that. We're too quick to do that. I think that that, you know, you go in, you get a blood test done, you get your your uh, testosterone levels are at a certain number, like 300, which is low. And the doc says, okay, it's low, so let's take an injection of testosterone once every other week or once a week or whatever. And that brings your testosterone levels up to 900, okay, which makes you feel like Superman. And it will. The challenge is, is that if you give somebody that's 45 testosterone because it's low, that person that man has the ability to make his own testosterone. If you give testosterone to someone and the hormone guys and gals that have their clinics aren't going to, I mean, hopefully they agree with me because it's true and it's science. I know it's not good for business, but, but the reality is if you give someone a hormone and it's already low, it's going to make the body produce less. It's already producing less. So yes, your hormone level is going to go up, but at the same time, you're not, you're not signaling the body to make more of its own. And that's something that you really have to look at when it comes to any kind of hormone therapy. How do you maximize the body making more of its own? So there's things you got to do. One is get a test, a blood test called SHBG, sex hormone binding globulin. And it, it, that's so important, SHBG, write it down, put it down, text it to your phone, whatever. But SHBG is important. Get it done. Have your physician run that every single time you have blood work. Because SHBG will show you if it's high, it's a sex, think about this, sex hormone binding globulin. Globulin is a protein, okay? If it's high, then it goes in and it grabs the testosterone and it holds it so you can't, the body can't use it. It binds it. It holds on to it. If it's low, if your SHBG is low, that's good. It means all the testosterone that's in your body is, is, has a better chance of being used. I have seen people in their 30s and 40s clinically in practice that had very high SHBG. Their testosterone levels were like 200. The doctor had put them on testosterone replacement therapy. They were still miserable, and the body was not functioning well. Why? Because if your SHBG is high and you give somebody testosterone, it's already binding the testosterone. You give it more testosterone, what's going to happen? It's going to bind it even more. So they were giving them more and more and more. (laughs) And you can't do that. 
So you you lower the sex hormone binding globulin, and there's nutrition that can do that. Uh, Avenia sativa is a great herbal supplement that can do that. Boron helps to do that. Uh, there's a list of them that can help. Getting your fatty acid levels up, that can help. Focus on regulating that first. And again, our health coach providers can always help guide you in that direction and lay out a plan for you in, in going in that direction because hormones are very important. I mean, they drive everything. And if you're not giving your body the things that it needs to function effectively and properly, then, then it's not going to go the way you want it to go, and especially with testosterone. So I encourage you, look at what it takes to get your own body functioning. Make sure that your sex hormone binding globulin is not elevated and that your testosterone is is really where it needs to be because at the end of the day, you have to make sure that you've got everything you need in your body. Now, I will tell you there's some foods that can help that. Turmeric and curcumin is really good at lowering estrogen levels and freeing up more testosterone because a lot of times when that SHBG binds things, it can make your estrogen go up, and that's not good for your testosterone levels either. So thanks so much for that text, and I hope that that helps in a major way. Get some blood work done, find out what that number is, and then you can build a game plan for there. It's not just cut and dry, but I'll tell you that that one secret right there with SHBG, that is a kicker because there's guys in their 60s that don't even need to be on hormone replacement therapy. They can make their own. I know guys in their 60s that are producing six, 700 on the scale with testosterone and crushing it. So it's not about that. You can get your own levels up. You just need to make sure your body is set to function on its own. That's the big key in this whole thing. Hey, if you haven't joined our health club, make sure to join it. It's conversations like this where somebody's already impacted their own testosterone or they've gotten off all their medications, 15 medications, or maybe they beat diabetes type 2, and you, you want to learn how to do that. You're following our principles, but you want to lock arms with somebody that's done that. That's the health club. Make sure to hop in and join that. If you haven't got a copy of my book, go to myfreehealthbook.com. We're sending you a free hard copy of my book to make sure you have it so you can start the anti-inflammatory diet. Follow the principles that are in there and get you going on your health journey. Look, this whole thing is about you. It's about your health. It's about your life. And it's about really understanding that you can become the best version of you and reach your potential. Man, it's about choices. Choices, choices, choices every single day. That's what matters more than anything else in this game is choices, and we want to help you get there every single day. Now, when it comes to your health, it comes down to your choices. I talk about that a lot. And on this show, we want to help you. We want to help you get there. Now, I want to jump in and talk a little bit about uh, one thing, which is depression. And depression is something that reaches a lot of people. Matter of fact, the number one prescribed medications right now are depression medications all across the board. And that's amazing, especially in times that we live in now. People are struggling. They're going through really tough times. They, they don't know what direction to turn. They, they've had a lot of trauma emotionally. And, and it becomes more difficult as time goes on. But, you know, one thing that we know for a fact is that you can build brain chemistry in the right way and build it up in the right way and you can thrive. Here's the best way to do that. If you deal with depression, obviously your doctor needs to be working with you on your medications. It's not something you want to do on your own. But there are nutritional things that you can do and I want to give you a couple that have really been good for helping to support healthy brain function and brain chemistry. Number one is a vitamin B6 in the version of pyridoxal 5-phosphate, P5P. So vitamin B6 has been known to be deficient in people that have depression. Uh, pyridoxal 5-phosphate, P5P, is the best version of that. There's pyridoxine, but it's not as good as the P5P when it comes to the brain. So I would focus in on that, make sure that you're getting enough of that. Get the blood test done. They can check and see what the numbers are. P5P is important. The other one is omega-3 fatty acids in the form of, I like cod liver oil, any kind of Really high quality fish oil is important, but getting your omega-3s up into a certain level is the absolute key. That is your gold standard and what you need to focus on, bar none, every single day. So get enough of the omega-3 fats, get a blood test done, see where your numbers are. That's going to help tremendously. The other thing is your body has to make brain chemicals, these neurotransmitters. As a matter of fact, when you take a medication for depression, that's what it's doing. It's actually either replacing or helping to make those brain the, the the neurochemicals in your brain but here's the deal this is what not a lot of people talk about those brain chemicals are made in your gut first 
Want to turn back the clock 15 years and have more energy? This is Dr. Asa telling you to just breathe with LiveO2. LiveO2 delivers the right amount of oxygen we need for optimal health. Go to LiveO2.com. That's LiveO2.com. To find out more, visit the show online, InShapeNetwork.com gut first and if the gut's healthy then guess what your brain's going to be healthy so i would encourage you to look into things like the anti-inflammatory diet which is in my book it's a hardback copy we'll send you a free copy so you can follow the anti-inflammatory diet it also talks about the foundation of four supplements the four nutrients that you need bar nine to absolutely have so that your body can function at its best level these four foundational four uh, nutritional components you have to have to have a healthy gut and you also have to have it to have the right kind of microbiome okay so go to myfreehealthbook.com it's myfreehealthbook.com and that will get you started but depression is it's a challenge a lot of people struggle with it but you don't have to it doesn't have to be the thing that drives you uh, along the way we want to be here to help you look no matter what, depression, anxiety, uh, weight loss, whatever it is, we want to see you thrive and really make it. That's what this show is all about. It's about you. It's about your health. It's about your life. And we want to see you really get down to the place where you're making really good choices and you can thrive and you can really get to the next place with your health and your life. No one can help take responsibility for your health but you. You have to do that every single day. Look, make sure to send me a text. You can also call the number here on the show. Send me an email. Join us on social media. DM, whatever you want to do. But make sure that you jump in with us. Regardless, we're going to help you. Our health coach providers are always there. And whatever question that you have, whatever you're struggling with, whatever you're dealing with, remember that you were made and designed different than anyone else, very special and unique. Reach your potential and become the best version of you. That's what we're here for. Whatever you're struggling with, whatever you walked in here with, whatever you tuned in here with, whatever you came here with, I want you to know that it can get better, that it can change, that you can become a better version of where you are right now, that you're not stuck, that the medication you're on is not forever, that you can become a better you simply by the choices that you make. Look, what brought you to the game of where you are right now are your choices. It's not genetics and it's not family history and don't believe the hype. It's about your choices that you've made all the way up to this. And the good news is, and this is good news. The good news is, is that you can come out of it. If you make the right kind of choices, you can unwind and unravel what's been happening. But you got to have the discipline. You got to have the knowledge. You got to have the know-how. You got to have the want to. You got to have the desire to want to do that and become the best version of you. Look, and that's what I'm here for. I'm going to help you do that. I'm going to help you thrive, make it, get to that next level with your health and with your life. Like that is why we're here. That's what we're here for, to help you thrive and really get to that next level. So on this show today, we're going to talk about that. We've got some keys that I want to get into in just a minute. I'm going to talk about how to increase your lifespan, longevity. There's some new research that's out that's actually really groundbreaking, but yet simple at the same time. And we're going to talk about that. Also, if you haven't called in, into the show before, call in. We'd love to have you. Call the number right there. You can also text. We could text now. You can send the text number. It's on all our websites, social media outlets, everywhere you go on the screen, whenever you're watching us, you'll see that text number, YouTube, Twitter, uh, TikTok, Facebook, all of those, Instagram. The main thing is we want you to know that we're here for you and that we can help you in any way to walk with you and be your family, kind of lock arms. Sometimes it's tough. And nowadays, there's so much information out there. It's like, where do you turn? One day, broccoli's good for you. The next day, it's causing cancer. One day, they want you to exercise 150 minutes a week, and then no, it's high intensity, 70 minutes. Like, what do you do? So this is a place to, to, to cut through all the mustard and get to a place where we can really dig deep and get to where you need to go because your health really is your greatest wealth and I want you to know that to own that and to know that you don't have to be stuck where you are that you can really get to that next level with your health and with your life all right we're going to start out with an email I want to kick off with that Ken in St. Paul Minnesota he says my son's been diagnosed with type 2 diabetes is he stuck with this forever wow Ken let me tell you something man it's uh I get it but I want to tell you this. No, he's not stuck with it forever. No. 
And it's type two. Like type two is the easiest to overcome. Like type two is one that we always say if you can lifestyle your way into getting sick, you can lifestyle your way out and get well. Type two diabetes is one of those that you really can lifestyle your way out. No, he's not stuck. Absolutely not. But first, he's going to have to get serious. And at 14, it's tough to get serious with what you eat, right? It's tough because you want to eat whatever, and your friends are eating whatever. But if you get diagnosed with diabetes, you cannot eat whatever. You just can't. So he's got to get to a point where he really begins to make better choices. I would start with the anti-inflammatory diet that's in my book. It's the best place to start. We've used it clinically for over 20 years. It is the gold standard. It stabilizes blood sugar. It reduces inflammation. And it gets your body working the way it needs to to reset all the hormones and everything that needs to be balanced. And this is important. So if you go to myfreehealthbook.com, that's myfreehealthbook.com. We'll send you a copy of that absolutely free. Why? Because I want to help your son. Just like you're emailing me right now wanting to help your son because he's your son. <laughs> and he matters. Uh, trust me, I've got a daughter, and it's my world, right? So I get it. But diabetes is not something he's going to be stuck with, right? You just got to change the habits, the exercise habits, the eating habits, all the habits. It's not a wonder pill I'm telling you. There's no wonder secret. Really with any of this stuff, man. You, you, everybody who gets diagnosed with anything, whatever it is, one of my closest people that I love and care about is fighting cancer right now. It's like you've got to put in the work. I mean, the, the, the drugs and the medicine can help, but you have to put in the work. Should he take medicine right now? You didn't ask me that, but I'm just going to answer you. You should take whatever the doctor has. If it's metformin, which is probably what, or glucophage, one of those two, which is kind of a first line, he's most likely taking that. And I think, you know, it's good to take that in the beginning, but you better be putting in the work on the back end. Every single day, he better be eating proteins, fats, and carbohydrates that are low glycemic on the carbohydrates, and every meal should be a protein and a fat and a carb that is very low, like fruits or vegetables, every three hours. Is that good to do? Yeah. It is because with diabetes, you've got to make sure you're doing everything you can to stabilize the blood sugar all throughout the day. You can't just be winging it, okay? You can't just, like, eat at breakfast and then not eat till school lunch. Like, that's great. That No, the teachers need to know that he's got a snack that you give him or mom gives him or whoever that he takes in his backpack with him. He has to take a break. He has to step out of class. He has to, to say, it doesn't matter. Call the principal. I'd go up there and say, look, this is what my son has to do. He needs to eat every three hours. So if he eats breakfast at 6.30, he should be eating breakfast, you know, provided the pediatrician. I'd run all this by your pediatrician, but, like, the pediatrician is probably going to be giving me a high five for being so straightforward about it because the pediatrician is probably trying to, to get him to do the same thing, but it's like he's got, you know, she's got, you know, a thousand patients she's got to take care of, right? She can't be walking around with cameras <laughs> making sure that that happens. So. Every three hours. 9.30, probably needs to have a snack. Eats lunch at like 12. You know, that'll be lunch. That'll stabilize blood sugar. Then, you you know, so you don't have that big dip. Something around 3 o'clock, 2 or 3 o'clock, needs another snack. Okay? Then something at dinner. And I always think it's good to have something before bed if you've got diabetes. You know, we've always done that in, in all of our coaching and teaching with our health coach providers. They all... Because if you do a protein and a fat before bed, if you do a couple of hard-boiled eggs, which is protein and fat... Or if you do a handful of almonds, protein and fat, it stabilizes blood sugar while you sleep. That's a good thing. Anything you can do to cut out the yo-yo up and down that the pancreas goes through is going to help stabilize the body and help the body function at its peak level. And that's what you really want to go for. And when you're 14 and you've been diagnosed with diabetes, that's a lot. That shows you where the breakdown is in his body. That's a big deal. So I would focus in on those things. Make sure to get a free copy of my book. Go to MyFreeHealthBook.com. That's MyFreeHealthBook.com. And get a copy of that. They'll send it right to your doorstep. Hardback copy. My gift to you. Get your son looking at that anti-inflammatory diet. Don't let him whine and complain about the foods that he won't eat. And I'm not eating that, Dad. And whatever. Like, tell him I said this. Like, there's no more playing games. Like, if you've been diagnosed with diabetes, there's no more playing games. Pick the food. There's tons of foods, but there's also foods he's got to stay away th from, absolutely stay away from. Look at those and figure out what he needs, what he doesn't need, and, and go from there. That's the game plan. That's the goal. And if you do that, then you'll have victory, and you'll be the super dad. You don't be his friend right now. Be his dad, right? 
Like we waver back and forth between that. Be his dad. Because he needs someone to step up. He, it's not about eating pizza and donuts whenever he wants to anymore. He has diabetes. Time to step up. He is not about exercising as an option every day, right? Water versus sodas and juices. It's water. Like there's no more sugar. Like this, it's, it's not that point in his life anymore. He can't, for right now until things get stable, he's got to look at that, okay? Keep me posted on how he's doing. I want to know. And if you're not part of our health club, let our health club know, family know. That's our inner circle, and that's our community. Let them know what's going on with him. I want to know. I want to keep up with this with this son of yours, and, and I want to see him have victory. Like, that's the key. All right? Thanks so much for that call. All right, running. I want to talk to you about some longevity. Longevity. Remember this. Muscle is the, the secret, the amount of lean muscle that you have is the secret to longevity. And I don't care how you cut it, but creatine... Now, there's creatine monohydrate. If you've ever heard of that, people think creatine is just for athletes. It's not. Creatine, or creatine, however you want to say it, is incredible for building muscle, increasing energy in the muscle, and maintaining lean muscle tissue. Look, when I was at Florida State University as a strength and conditioning coach, they creatine had just come out. And just to tell you a little bit about my story, they gave it to our athletes to test. Well, I was one of the coaches, so I wanted to test it too. I'm telling you what. I'm a natural athlete, always have been, and it increased my strength like nothing else because creatine is nothing is, is naturally occurring in foods. They just extracted it from the foods and they gave it to you in a powdered form. And studies now have been done, like thousands of studies, to prove the safety and the e- efficacy of it and how it increases athletic performance. And it does. But guess what? Now they're finding out that creatine is can increase your muscle strength and longevity at any age and can ward off all kinds of health challenges, even in the areas of Parkinson's and dementia. Uh, it's amazing at what it does for so many areas of our health, diabetes and blood pressure and, and all of these. So the list goes on and on. Did you know that you can listen to the Asa RX audio experience on Spotify and Pandora? For all the ways to watch and listen, Check out our show page at asarx.com slash experience. Connect with On Call Radio and watch On Call TV at inshapenetwork.com. But concrete creatine is my absolute favorite. Concrete is a brand. It was formulated actually by accident. Creatine monohydrate has always been the popular one, but a good friend of mine actually created that. And Concrete is the brand that is the most functional, bioavailable form of creatine that we have. And I want to encourage you that if you've never looked at take, cre- taking creatine for muscle strength and for longevity and for getting your body into a place that it really needs to be, where it's going to be set up for the long game, concrete creatine, it's, I take it every single day, multiple times throughout the day. Like I, I've been using creatine monohydrate for years. I don't want to tell you how many years. And this creatine hydrochloride, concrete creatine, is the best version of creatine I've ever taken. Why am I telling you that? Because muscle is the key to longevity. And in the study we just realized and found, running can add three years to your lifespan. They've done multiple studies on this, and we know that if you run on an average basis, you're going to live three years longer than anybody else. Guess what? Concrete creatine, using that on a regular basis before your run and after your run, is going to increase muscle capacity. It's going to increase what's called ATP, which is your energy levels. That's going to go through the roof. Your recovery ability is going to go through the roof. Your strength, and it doesn't matter at any age. If you're 45 or if you're 85, it's going to help your performance get you to the level where you can go to the next level with your health and your life. So I want to encourage you to look into creatine, supplementing your diet with that, adding that in. But the only one I use is concrete. I used to use creatine monohydrate forever until my buddy who stumbled across this research and actually formulated it told me about it. I started using concrete creatine, which is a creatine hydrochloride, and literally it was a game changer. My performance increased, less water retention, and and just my strength and recovery. Everything started to work better when I used that. And again, I'm a big proponent of building muscle. You can probably tell just by looking at me, but (laughs) it's it. Concrete creatine and using creatine on a regular basis has been one essential key to my performance and longevity. And guess what? It's also good for brain function. It increases mental clarity, sharpness, and people always wonder. Like, It's not just for athletes. It is actually for performance 
and better quality of life. Concrete creatine is one of my favorites. Now, we've got also Samantha asked a question. She is in Miami, Florida, and she wants to know what can you do to increase your energy levels. Well, I just talked about it. Concrete creatine is a great way to do that. Also, green tea extract is really good. Remember, on caffeine, you don't really want to go over about 300 milligrams a day of caffeine, but I like getting it from green tea extract. Drinking green tea is great on a regular basis, but also when you jump into something like this, look, when it comes to your overall energy levels, it's going to be about how hydrated you are, drinking the right amount of water every single day, half your body weight in ounces of water every single day, but using something like creatine hydrochloride, which is called concrete. But when you increase your water intake, it only helps creatine work and function better in the body and then getting the right kind of antioxidants. Of course, I'm big on vitamin C, vitamin E. Those are great, but your energy levels... What no one wants to talk about is going to come down to one real big key, and that key is going to be your overall rest. I don't want you to leave that out of the equation. Getting six to eight hours, and yes, some people just need six, but six to eight, seven, eight hours of good, deep quality sleep every single night is going to be really essential for your energy levels. And when it comes to longevity, sleep is that one vitamin. I like to call it like the vitamin, vitamin S, right? It's the one that no one really talks about. And we're in a hustle and grind society, and I'm guilty of that. But one thing for longevity, a along with these others that I've talked about, without a shadow of a doubt, is going to be your sleep patterns. So adding those three together, those, those keys together, is going to help you with your sleep more than, with your energy levels more than just about anything. And it's not that hard to add into your routine every single day. When it comes to your health, your choices matter more than anything else. I'm so glad you're with us here on the show. However you're tuning in, doesn't matter where you are, how you are, when you are, <laughs> we're just glad you're here. And if you haven't got a copy of my free book, look, I'm giving it to you for free. It's a hardback copy. It's my best-selling book. Go to myfreehealthbook.com. That's myfreehealthbook.com book.com and you can get a free copy of that look it's so important to make the right choices and you've got to have the right knowledge to be able to do that i want to send you a copy of my book just to help to get you on your journey and then if you haven't joined our health club that's the place. That's the inner circle. That's our family. That's where I go in every week. And real. that's where you have full access to me. And we deep dive into whatever questions and things you've got going on. But that's not the secret sauce of the health club. The secret sauce of my inner circle in the health club are the people. The people that have already been dealing with what you're dealing with. Someone that's already walked through diabetes. Someone that's already lost 100 pounds. And they know how to do it. They've been following these principles for a long time. And they can cut your learning curve in half. I mean, don't you want that? You can spend 10 years trying to figure it out. You probably already spent five or 10 years trying to figure this out. Why not condense five, you know, a decade into days? Because you can if you have the right knowledge. It's all about knowledge. The right knowledge can take you to the right place to where you need to be so you can thrive, so you can make it, so you can be the best version of you. And that is what this is all about. That's what the show's all about. And that's what the health club is all about. And you want to start with getting a free copy of my book. I'm going to send it to you for free because I want to help you become the best version of you and really get down into the right path and go in the right direction to become who you were designed to be. Now, if you want to give us a call, call us. We'll make you part of the show. Text me. I'll take your questions. Uh, if it doesn't make it to the show, I answer them private. We answer every one of them. And if you want to send me a question, you want to uh, a DM, which is a direct message on any of the social media platforms, you can do that as well. All right. Let's get on the phones, though, and talk to Molly. Hi, Molly. What's your health challenge? Uh, I'm taking a 10 milligram of lolapine, and I'm taking 850 grams of med pharma. And I want to get out for it because I don't lost a lot of weight. I only weigh about 142 pounds. Okay. And I'm 65 years old. And look like I'm getting little and little, and the doctor won't take me off of that metformin. And I don't understand why, because I'm a diabetic. And, uh, you know, I try to eat healthy and everything, but I, I don't take, he was giving me two 850 milligrams. I stopped taking I just take one. And I want to know what can I do to get off that metformin and get something else for diabetic. All right, look, here's the thing. Follow what your doctor's telling you. I think, look, if you're down to 150 pounds, that's great. But your key right now is going to be the choices you're making every day. Following the anti-inflammatory diet, that's going to be very helpful to you. Get a free copy of my book and start there and then get inside of our health club. But the anti-inflammatory diet, go to myfreehealthbook.com. That's myfreehealthbook.com. Get a copy of that. And then also when you're in there, look at what I talk about with, with herbs like cinnamon and spices like cinnamon and, and different herbal components like chromium picolinate. Look at how I talk about some of these components that can help when you have diabetes to stabilize. Look at what I talk about with proteins and fats and how eating a protein and a fat together in a meal multiple times throughout the day can help stabilize it. Look, you can win the battle with diabetes all day long. You just have to have the right knowledge and we're always here to help.
Did you know you could listen to the Asa RX audio experience on Spotify and Pandora? For all the ways to watch and listen, check out our show page at asarx.com slash experience. Hi, it's Asa. I'm giving you a copy of my best-selling book for free to help you in your health journey today. I'll pay for the book. All you do is just cover the small shipping and handling costs. Go to asarx.com and get your free book today. This episode is over, but check episode notes for links to products and services you've heard about on this episode. Thanks for listening and subscribing. Please share the ASA RX audio experience with others and stay in touch by giving us your comment or review.